these uh, two automata, my beautiful hair, 15 years apart they were made. This one was made with a scroll saw and a band saw. This one was made uh, with CNC machines all digitally. Pretty similar, work as well as each other. This one is definitely better, uh, but you can put that down to 15 years experience and the fact that I bought a metal working lathe to cut brass work and things before I made this one. And so the CNC did make it better, more refined, but wasn't a game changer. Let me show you another example. These gears were cut uh, with a one mil uh, end bit on the uh, CNC machine. Um, and this is how I've make, been making most of my gears. Um, would have been difficult to cut them out this small uh, with a fret saw or a scroll saw. Probably possible, but difficult and certainly tedious if you make a lot of them. These ones here are cut with a laser, just a 5 watt laser, which are actually pretty cheap these days. Uh, much more accurate, because although this is done with a 1mm bit, this one's done with a laser beam which is less than 0.1 of a mil, so clearly you're going to get a much more accurate gear. It's quicker as well to make the laser ones, uh, smokier, uh, but uh, quicker. Uh, so for small flat 2D cutting, laser is definitely better than uh, the uh, routing machine or a fret saw. You do have the black ends but you can uh, live with those in most circumstances or in some cases sand them off. So CNC machine will let you do the same things better in most cases although there all are, are alternatives uh, like the laser machine which is cheaper as well usually. Uh, so, what is the point of uh, boy buying a CNC router? Let me give you another example. Where, I think with machines, uh, if you're going to make a big investment, you want to be able to do something different with them. It's got to enable you to get more opportunities. And with the CNC machine, not only can you cut out 2D shapes like you can with a laser, but it'll do something the laser won't do. It'll cut out recesses, so you don't have to go all the way through. So this is, uh, this is my oyster catcher. And this is the, uh, it's not quite finished yet, I've still got the tabs on it, but this is the front piece, just one piece of wood and it's all recessed out with the CNC machine with a 6mm bit. Um, you cannot do that any other way really, it would be impossible to do that by hand and certainly it wouldn't be possible with a laser. So that's something that you can do with a CNC machine I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. So it's opened up possibilities and you end up making your designs to suit the CNC machine because you have one. Um, and furthermore, let me show you, where it really comes into its own is when you start doing 3D work, uh, where you want it consistent. It's quite easy to carve one thing once, although something like this, which is the uh, oyster catcher's body here, it's got a recess inside various shapes. That would be quite difficult to do. You could make it in three parts, I suppose, and then glue it together, so it's not impossible. But to get the shape consistently, the CNC machine certainly pays dividends. And I quite like it because they come off the machine, uh, you know, as a child used to make the plastic kits. It's a bit like that, you get the parts and you can pull them out and uh, stick them together. So that's a definite advantage of the CNC machine. Let me show you just finally, we've got this which is William the, uh, the Hippo. This one, I think, really wouldn't have been possible without the CNC machine. Um, particularly the, the carvings. Quite a, uh, 
it's based on a ceramic hippopotamus which actually looks very like this and it would be very uh, difficult to consistently carve those out with the interior recesses as well and so that this has really only been possible because I've uh, got the CNC routing machines. They're not all sweetness and light though, if you're considering buying one. The bigger ones are very noisy. Um, I'll show you what I showed you on the 6mm bit and that really makes a racket. You don't want close neighbours with that. The smaller one I've got, which is the Roland um, prototyping machine, that's much quieter. It makes a bit like a dentist noise if you like. It's got a small bit. Uh, and it's the other problem with them is dust and that's less dusty because it contains it whereas the bigger router throws dust everywhere. Another thing you've got to consider is if that unless you're only using plywood you need some way of making the wood the right thickness and so you start having to invest in other machines like a decent sized bandsaw for cutting the wood down and then a planer thickness as well so it's not just the cost and the space that the router takes. You've also got to have this other ancillary machinery. And then of course, you do need the uh, software and the computers to run it. The software for the 2D, eh, it's not too difficult. Once you get into the 3D, this takes a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, you can make a start free, Blender, fantastic uh, software for actually making the shapes, but it doesn't actually make the uh, cutting code, so that's when you get into some money to convert your 3D model into something that the routing machine will cut. So I've got several CNC machines, I, I really like them and they've opened up a lot of possibilities of what I can make compared to what I was making, making before and it's very satisfying to get a consistent, uh, a consistent model coming out, particularly if you're selling them, people want to be able to buy what they see on the website and uh, you can get a superb product coming off this. But it's not the first thing I would invest my money in. If you really uh, are just starting out and want to up your game, I would recommend getting a small um, lathe that will cut brass, at least brass and wood. Of course, that really, of course, there's a lot of turning parts in Automata and being able to use the lathe to cut out bushings, etc. makes a big difference to your work. So. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or any comments about the machine you've got or your thoughts on them, please put them in the comments below. And if you're feeling really generous, perhaps you'd like to like or subscribe. So till next time, goodbye.